Well, I think there's a plenty of work still to be done domestically here in terms of encouraging the government to, to, to really speed up their process uh, in terms of uh, protecting the creative industries here, particularly with the advent of high-speed broadband. Uh, that's going to put on further pressure, not only on the music industry, but certainly on the movie industry and the TV business. And I think the more the government can do to, to help protect and support those interest, industries and really support the legitimate, the many legitimate services we have to, uh, to deliver our music consumers, the better. I think we have to be very, very careful in taking things for granted because we've had to uh, be creative by necessity over the years. And other countries that were maybe lucky, they're catching up because technology communication means that a lot of creative properties, whether they be in technology, has become di digital and can be exported all around the world. So we have to keep that edge. So there is a recognition that the creative industries and taking music as my sector is valuable, is that we are, are, we are good at it uh, and actually that all we really want is quite limited uh, help and uh, assistance really and I think that uh, certainly the work we're trying to do to identify that just having some strong copyright laws and then leave us to get on and do our, what we're good at is pretty much the help that we, uh, that we need and uh, a little bit of assistance at times in, in trying to make sure we can uh, combat the, the piracy element would be good not just for the creative sector, for music, but also those services that are actually trying to provide legitimate business models off the back of it. Because again, they're severely limited on how much you can charge for a service if there are free options out there.